Hi guys, it's Tony from Custom PCs Australia. Today we're just going to look at some uh, potential fixes for blue screens, in particular kernel security check failures. Uh, it'll pretty much work for any blue screen issue though, so um, check these tips out. Um, first one's very, very easy. We're just going to make sure our Windows is up to date. So choose check for updates. If there is any updates there, uh, download and install them. So this next one here, we're going to have a look at the optional Windows updates. So follow the same steps as you did before. Um, this time we're just going to go into the uh, optional updates area and we're just going to see if there's anything available there. If there is, just tick them both and then just uh, choose download and install. So the next one we're going to try is an N uh, SFC scan. Um, type CMD into the search bar and you're just going to hit the command prompt icon there. Now once you've done that, uh, click in the area there and then type in uh, what you see on the screen. Uh, once you've done that, all you have to do is press enter. This will take a little while, um, but it's going to look for things to repair. So the next one is run memory diagnostics. Uh, type memory into the search bar. Choose the Windows memory diagnostics. Um, from there, choose restart now and the computer is going to try and fix itself for you. So if all other options have failed, uh, the last one we're going to try is a restore point. Uh, so type restore into the search bar there. Uh, then we're just going to click on system restore. Choose next. Now you should see a list of restore points here. We're looking for one that will be prior to the issues that you're having arising. Uh, if you can find a suitable one there, click on next and your computer will restore itself back to that point in time. Hopefully one of these fixes has done the trick and your blue screens are a thing of the past. For more computer tips and tricks, uh, like and uh, subscribe be really helpful. Thank you, see you in the next one.